do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends since we are doing a topic based on chemistry so chemistry means we are talking about chemical reactions so we can't do a chemical reaction without understanding units so let us see what is units and what are the characteristics of the units so now talking about unit unit means it is defined as a standard of reference chosen to measure a physical quantity like length volume mass and etc so unit basically it involves us to measure a particular physical quantity for example if we have to measure a particular matter in the form of a weight then we use the unit as kg so for length we use centimeter we use uh, meter or kilometer and for uh, mass or uh, that we have mentioned and for volume that is we uh, use centimeter cube or liter milliliter so these are the units that are being involved and because of which the global uh, people that understand with each other or they trade or they do this kind of innovations would not have been possible if unit was not been there so this is unit that we are talking about so what are the types of unit or what are the characteristics of unit that we should maintain or uh, because of what the unit is been uh, authorized is the characteristic of a good unit so let me talk about a characteristic of a good unit the first thing is the magnitude of unit must be independent of place and time so this is the main factor that we are going to talk it about that how the unit should not change with place and time whenever we are talking about a chemical reaction we in a chemical reaction that we involved mass of a particular substance and that mass of a particular substance suppose if you are doing in a particular uh, place that is in a particular city and we are moving to a next city so therefore the mass should not be changed or the unit should not be changed it should be the same as it is suppose if you are taking 1 kg of a copper substance which is present in a particular city and if you are moving to a another city and that case also you have to measure the particular unit in kg itself and that should be of 1 kg only so in that case the magnitude of a particular substance or a particular unit will not change regarding to its place and time so now talking about the next one that is it should be easily reproducible that is suppose if you have a unit or if you have uh, a scale of one meter so i have mentioned the unit as meter in this case so suppose if you go to another place or if you uh, move or if you want to make that scale uh, as it is a new duplicate form so the thing is you have to measure a wooden piece as one meter only so therefore with the help of a reference you could make another one meter scale so therefore i'm talking about a meter one so the unit will be for everything so it would be for kg or there are different kind of unit that we are going to talk about so therefore a unit should be reproducible and it should not be changed so that is the main thing and the next thing is it should be universally accepted overall wise globally the unit that we have been mentioning it should be accepted globally because we have to interact with each other as well as we are reacting or we are dealing with chemical reactions and the chemical reaction is not taking place in our city itself it is uh, been uh, doing or we are doing chemical reaction globally so therefore the unit that we are mentioning it should be globally accepted so this are the a uh, good characteristic of a unit that should we should understand and because of what we could produce uh, different kind of units as well as we could understand uh, the physical term of uh, the chemistry also so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got understood what is unit and what are the different uh, good characteristic of a unit so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe egeda channel thank you so much